Well, it's the last day that we're working on the van. Let's turn that around so you, you can actually see me. Today we're going to do a test drive, take back the parts that we didn't need, and make sure that everything is working okay. It's early in the morning. As you can see, it is really kind of pretty. It's misty. Uh, Jack is getting the van off of the lift right now. And then we're going to head into town back to Napa and, re Napa and O'Reilly's and return the stuff we need to. we got to return the tools that we borrowed or rented at Napa and get my deposit back there. And then, you know, hopefully this is going to be a start to a wonderful day. Jack is driving first thing in the morning. And uh, so far it sounds, uh, sounds pretty good. Checked all the air pressure and all the tires. Set it with... 50 pounds cold according to the tires that is appropriate and then plus by the time I get done everything in the back of this thing there will be some pretty good weight so here we go so as of right now everything's going pretty good so how do you think about the way it's running and everything Running all right. Are you happy with your workmanship? Oh yes, it's doing all right. Let's see if I can't get us out of here without hitting anything. And we just took back the the axle and the seals, and we got to They gave me a check, so I've got to go and cash it. Right now, we're going to go to um, the other auto place where we rented the tools from and take those back. Uh, system bank one and bank two lean. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Which could be plugs, plug wires, could be fuel filter. Oh, we just replaced filter, all that. Intake gaskets. It ran We're basically fine this a back. Morning. It's got a vacuum leak somewhere. It's... It ran fine this morning, all the way down to or in the Truman. We shut it off. And as soon as I started up, it ran rough from there on out. Something stuck up that ain't supposed to be. Yeah, it's, it's either a restriction, like you said, you've already changed plugs or the filters and all that. Yep. Otherwise, you got a, a severe vacuum leak. Well, thank you, Chad. Right, thank, thank you, sir. You. Here's your, uh, here's your pliers. Okay. So, with that little tidbit of information, what do you think, Jackie? Well, I think we want to get it back home, and I want to hook up my own scan tool and see if we can get a little more in depth. Gotcha. See what we got going on. I have a couple theories. Do you? Uh, yeah. Let's close that door, man. That ding, ding, ding is driving me nuts! I wish there was an on-off button for that shit. Yeah. Yeah, there's that stumble, stumble. Did he clear the light? He must have cleared the light. I didn't think they were allowed to clear the light. Doesn't that do it automatically? Nope. Really? So we are off back to the homestead. Yeah, that's all it is. That's all it says, is what he said? Yep. Well, that helps narrow it down, don't it? <laughs> Generic system. Uh, it's 
interesting. Maybe it is the O2 sensors. But there should be a code for them. Because it's giving me, that's the first time I've ever seen this. It's saying that the... Fuel system 1 was in closed loop, which means it was hot enough, whatever, that the O2 sensor is working, but it says fault after it. Uh-huh. Well, with everything that we've done, I feel really confident with the van now. Um, Jack took a look at why we were getting the engine codes that we were, and uh, what it is is basically somewhere along the line there is a small vacuum leak that... I think would take probably forever to try to track down. It won't affect anything when it comes to the reliability of the vehicle. It may affect my gas mileage a little bit, but it won't leave me stranded on the side of the road. So later on, when I have the ability to uh, have that uh, taken care of or, or looked at, I will. Um, but uh, I'm really psyched that everything is done that is done so far. Um, once again, I got to really thank Jack Sargent for his time and his help. You know, great guy. You know, really appreciate the friends that I have. They've really came through and helped me a ton. So now, with that being said, it is going to be time to actually start um, some of the work in the back of the van. I'm still waiting on a few things to show up. Um, my fantastic vent needs to come. Um, the ladder rack needs to come for the mounting of the solar panels up top. Um, the flooring that I ordered off of Amazon needs to show up. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to empty out the back of the van and um, pull out the cabinets that are left and try to get it prepped and ready to start and insulate. You know, because my whole idea or my plan is to, you know, the next two and a half, three weeks you know, build the back of the van um, so that I'm ready to go. So, you know, I want to say thank you to all you people that have uh, followed along so far. You know, I appreciate the time that you take out of your day to watch these videos and uh, follow along in the journey that I'm, I am in the process of uh, living. So, thanks. And uh, if you haven't done it, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe and uh, follow my journey. It should be fun and interesting at the very least. Thank you.